Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing an activity called Show Me the Money. And the main topics of this is decimals as the base 10 fractions, comparing and ordering, and then place value concepts like tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So before we get started here, I'm going to ask you guys a question, a key question. And I want you to think about it throughout the activity we're doing, okay? So how does our money help us understand decimals? Okay, so keep thinking about that. How does money help us understand decimals, okay? So a couple goals we have here for the activity. We want to understand relative magnitude of decimals. We're going to practice ordering decimals. And then we're going to use coins as a model for understanding decimals as base 10 fractions, okay? So, materials we're going to need for this. Not many, just a couple here. And the first one here is mandatory. You need, you can have like a string or uh, I'm using a cord right here. It doesn't really matter. If you, if you don't have one, that's okay. You can just lay the cards. You can just lay the cards on the table. And second, index cards or in my case, I just took strips of paper right here. Ripped them out, or cut them out of a, a notebook. And then we're going to end up folding them and writing numbers on each side. Okay, so that's really the only only uh, two things you need. But how you do need, you will need 48 index cards or strips of paper. All right. So before we get started right here, I'll let you go get your notebook, paper, or index cards. And remember, we're going to cut them out. Or if you have index cards, you can just fold them. But if you have notebook paper, uh, cut out strips or rip out strips, and we're going to be folding them, and then I'm going to show you uh, the sets of numbers here in a second, and we're going to put the numbers on the front and back, okay, one number per uh, piece of paper. So the first three sets of numbers are right here. You want to go ahead and pause and copy down the numbers onto the strips. That'd be awesome. So go ahead and pause. And then here are the second set of numbers. And you can go ahead and pause me again and get these numbers copied down. All right, so, so what we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna use what we know about dimes and cents already to put sets of decimal numbers in order from smallest to largest or vice versa, largest to smallest. You can do either one. Okay, so, right here. We're gonna discuss relative values of dimes and cents. What, what, how do they go together? How do like pennies go in? How would a penny go into a dime? So think on that for a second. Okay, so 10 cents or 10 pennies equals one dime. So that's kind of how they're related right there. Now, I'm going to set the stage right here, a little make-believe setting, all right? So in the country of no sensibility, money makers produce only folding money equivalent to dimes and cents in our world. They are eager to make a point in their accounting system, so they record the value of their money like this. 0.5 means five dimes. And 0 0.03 means three cents or three pennies. Any combination of numbers after the point corresponds to our dimes and pennies. Furthermore, they have an additional coin called nonsense, which is one tenth of a cent and is represented in our decimal system by thousandths. Thus, in the land of no sensibility, 0 0.325 would mean three dimes, two cents, and five nonsense. Okay, to get a little practice on this, before we do the activity here, we're going to go over a couple numbers with each other, okay? So, the first number we're going to be going over here is 0 0.03. In the story I just described above, or I just described, um, what do we think 0 0.03 means? In terms of dimes, cents, and pennies, and then nonsense. So take a second to think on that. 
Okay, so yeah, 0 0.03 means 3 cents. Now how about, how about 0 0.6? What does that mean? Take a second. Okay, so 0 0.6, that would mean 6 dimes. So let's move on to a 3-digit number so we can use our nonsense here. Okay, how about 0.235? Take a second. What, what does that mean? Okay, so 0.235 means 2 dimes, 3 cents, and then 5 nonsense. Alright, so getting to the activity now. You can either do this by yourself, or you can have a partner too, or do it with a couple people. Um, so if you have siblings that you want to do it with, or you want your parents to be a part of this, they can sure do that. You can do that. So, you guys can compete against each other, or you can just do it for fun. And then you can check over when you're done with each other's. Alright? So, when you guys finish up here with the activity, or you're going to be doing, or getting started with the activity... You're going to have your sets of numbers, okay? And you're going to lay them out from least greatest to greatest. So, for example, I have two right here. Well, they're backwards, I guess. But we have 0.4 and 0.47, okay? I'm going to make it so it makes sense to you right here. So, 0.4 is less than 0.47, so it would go before. So, with your sets of numbers, uh, take them from least greatest to greatest all right so you can pause me right here and get going on your activity all right so now that we're done with the activity we're gonna just go over a couple questions right here so how are dimes and pennies related take a second what do we think here well 10 pennies make a dime so that's how those are related and then, how about nonsense? How are they related to pennies? I'll give you a hint. It's similar to the dimes and pennies being related. Okay? So, ten nonsense make a cent or a penny. And then, how about how are dimes, cents, and nonsense related to a dollar? Take a second here. Alright, well, dimes, dimes are one-tenth of a dollar. Cents or pennies are one one hundredth of a dollar, and then the nonsense are one one thousandth of a dollar. All right. So going back, now we should have we should be able to understand the magnitude of decimals a little better than we had did before, when we pra because of practicing and ordering the decimals, and then we should have a little bit more knowledge on how. How money helps us understand decimals with our big question. All right, well, thank you guys for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed the activity.